Hi everybody. In this lecture, what I'll try to do basically is introduce the concept of torsion. Right. Now, what is torsion all about? Let us see. I will take this Timoshenko example. Right. For example, I have some kind of a fixed frame here. And there's a shaft which is attached to this fixed frame. Like this. And there is suppose a flywheel like this wherein I apply some kind of uh, opposite force of equal magnitude to produce a torque suppose T. Now what I do is now take out two cross sections, two circular cross sections and let this be cut by the plane MN and PQ and try to zoom it and draw it here MN PQ. The distance between them is nothing but is equal to DX. Now due to this torque applied at the circular cross section defined by the plane Q, PQ, we have some kind of a shearing stress developed, right? So essentially, if this is my PQ, I have some kind of a shearing stress developed at PQ, or the circular cross section. And this is my, suppose this is my MN, right? Now what will basically happen is that, the circular cross section will remain circular. In the effect that if this is my circular cross section, if this is my diameter, maybe due to this torque, the diameter will have a change from this position to this position. Then this change is suppose theta 1. And this suppose is my AB diameter and it has changed to A dash, B dash diameter. Now suppose there is another diameter CD. Now due to this torque, CD will also change and that too to C dash, D dash but this change of angle is suppose theta 2 then theta 1 is equal to theta 2 and if this happens we can say that the circular cross section remains circular that is the diameter will have some kind of a change of angle but every diameter will have that change of angle and essentially the circular cross section will remain circular so this is one observation we got to make. The next thing that we are going to know is basically if this is the axis of the shaft. Suppose this is the axis of the shaft. And if I apply tau in the PQ cross section, circular cross section, then effectively if I have a plane like this, suppose I had a plane AB right here. And this was before I apply any kind of a torque or and there is and there was shear stress is developed in this plane this was before that now due to this tau or this torque applied this b will move to b dash and essentially there will be a change in the relative orientation of the plane that is if ab is, was the original orientation of the plane then after the tau is applied the plane ab has moved to ab dash so essentially if this AB dash, if this is essentially called the shearing strain because we know that tau is directly proportional to shearing strain. If tau is the shear stress, then um, if gamma is the shearing strain, then tau is directly proportional to shearing strain. Now, we got to find out this shearing strain. And this she shearing strain is essentially nothing but is equal to BB dash by AB. And what is BB dash? BB dash we can easily find out because if this is my center O, then BB dash is this change of this angle, right? And this is suppose D phi and this is R. So BB dash is essentially R D phi by DX. And D phi by DX is nothing but is equal to suppose theta. But theta, what is the physical significance of theta? Theta refers to the change of angle of twist with respect to the length right with respect to the length of the shaft theta refers to the change of angle of the twist that is how much this plane has moved with respect to this original plane right over this length suppose this dx. So theta is nothing but is equal to 
d phi by dx. So essentially we have this tau is equal to we know g gamma and gamma is equal to g into r into theta or g into r into d phi dx. Now from this we can make an observation. G is nothing but it's called the shear modulus 